What's up guys, I'm Rasim from RasmerTech.com and this is another tutorial in Java programming. Now in this class, I'm going to show you guys how to get input from an input dialog box. So let's get started. Now since we're using dialog boxes, we have to import the Java pane class, the J option pane class. To do that, we have to first, above everything, above, even above the public class, we have to hit enter here and a couple of times and we have to type above it, import, I-M-P-O-R-T. Then we can hit space, then we can type in Java x dot swing dot j and o cap the rest are lowercase p t i o n j option then capital p a n e so then we're going to end it with a semicolon here so now again we use import hit space java x lowercase period swing lowercase period capital j o lowercase p t i o n capital p lowercase a n e and that with a semicolon we're importing the j option pane class because we're going to be using dialog boxes we're going to use an import dialog box and a message dialog box so now let's go down here into this main method and type in our code so uh, when we create an input dialog box all the input is automatically a string so we have to start off by typing in capital s and lowercase t r i n g right this is our input here and it's going to be a string and all inputs are string so again when creating an input dialog box all inputs are automatically string so now we're going to give our uh, variable a name let's call this one input one string right input one string so then we hit space and we have to make it equal to something hit, hit space again then then let's hit enter right so now let's type in capital j o lowercase p t i o n capital P lowercase a n e so we're going to type in dot show this is lowercase capital I lowercase n p u t show input then we're going to type in capital D the rest are lowercase i a l o g right dialog open and close parentheses and that with a semicolon now in between this open and close parentheses here we're going to type in null n u l l then we're going to type in comma then we're going to hit enter right so now here we're going to use a set of double quotes. So add a set of double quotes in between this set of double quotes. This is going to be the message that the dialog box prompts the user to do. So en enter any message you want to uh, to prompt the user. So I'm going to, I'm going to enter, uh, so I'm going to write enter the first number. Okay, because I'm going to create a program that uh, takes two numbers, or take two inputs, and, and and add those two inputs together, then and print out the results in another uh, dialog box. So, so we have to add an R here. So again, this first part here is for the user. You're answering a message, telling the user what to do, right? So we're going to add a comma after this last double quote here. Then we're going to hit, I'm sorry, comma. Then we're going to hit enter again. Now we're going to use another set of double quotes here. So in between this set of double quotes, this is going to be the prompt, the dialog prompt, like a message or a title of the prompt or a title of the dialog box here. Uh, you, could tell, uh, you could tell the user that this is a whatever. So I'm going to put uh, adding two, oops, two numbers, right? So at the end of this last Double quote here, we got to add a comma again, then we're going to hit enter again. So now we're going to type in capital J, capital O, P, T, I, O, N, J option, capital P, A, N, E. Then we're going to type in, then we're going to type in dot, capital question, so all caps for question, so capital Q, U, E, S, T, I, O, N, so question is capital, underscore, then capital message, capital M, E, S, S, A, G, E, right? So that's pretty much it for this dialog box here, this input dialog box. We started off by typing in our string, because there's a string, and it's capital S, lowercase t-r-i-n-g, we hit space. We give our variable a name, so we call this one input one string, right? And all the value of the string will get saved into this variable here. So and then we hit enter. First we, hit, we made it equal to something, then we hit enter, then we typed in capital J, capital O, P-T-I-1, capital P-A-N-E dot show, capital I, and P U T capital D A L O G open and close parentheses. In between the open and close parentheses, we typed in null, comma, enter. Then we hit a, a set of double quotes. In between the set of double quotes, we typed in our message for the user 
telling them user what to do. So then we added a comma after the first message. Then we hit enter again. Now in between a set of second double quotes, we uh, we're prompting the user. This is like telling the user what the dialog box is about, and that will probably come out on the top of the of the dialog box here. You can enter whatever you want. It could be a title of the dialog box, whatever you guys want. I entered adding a two numbers because we're going to be adding two numbers. So let's hit play here. As you can see, this is our new input dialog box here. Again, adding two numbers again was just the second part here. And this is just prompting the user, telling the user what this dialog box is about, right? So again, so again here, uh, then enter the first number again is is the message we, we, uh, we're giving to the user telling them what to do and they have to enter a number. So it doesn't matter if it's a number or letter, it gets saved as a string. So let's open this up here. So again, now we have our first input here. Once the user enters the input, it gets stored in this variable here, input string one, right? So now let's copy this. Let's add, we're gonna add another input dialog box here. Let's hit, let's hit paste there. So now we have two inputs here. Now we gotta rename the second input here. Let's call this one input string two, right? So now let's uh, create a message for the user. Enter the second number, right? So we're gonna keep this uh, adding two numbers as our prompt. So now we have two input dialog boxes here with two uh, different variables here. So the first one will take the first input, save it in this variable, input one string. The second one will take the second input, save it in this variable, input two string. But if we're using this for adding, like we're gonna do now, remember, like I said, all inputs automatically are saved as strings. So we have to convert them to ints or doubles or or longs, depending on what you're gonna be doing. So to do that, I'll show you how to do that right now. Let's do it. The, let's do the first one here first. Let's start off by typing in int because we want it to convert it to an integer and let's create a new variable name. Let's call this one input one, right? Just input one. And we want this one to be equal to capital I N T G E R dot P A R S E capital I lowercase n t open and close parentheses and that with a semicolon right so now uh, we're creating a new variable we call in imp1 input one so we're now we're creating a new variable we call input one and we want to equal uh, our string variable and it's going to convert it to an integer so let's let's copy our first string variable here All right and let's paste it in between this open and close parentheses Right now, so what, what this is going to be doing is going to be taking our uh, string input here that has the string data, the first input data, and it's, being, it's going to be converting it into a integer, and our integer name is going to be input one. So once the user enters something, it gets saved in input one string. Then we're going to convert that input one string into an integer right here. That's how we do that. So if you guys want to uh, convert it to a double or a long, it's pretty much the same thing. Just replace the int with double, replace the integer with double, and replace this with double or long, depending on what you want it to do. And, um, and it'll convert it. So now, again, it's going to convert our string into a int down here. So now we have the value of our first input here, and it's going to be converted into an integer. Now we have our second input here, right? So let's copy this here. Let's paste it under this input box here, our second input box. Let's uh, change this to input two, because it's a new variable name. And uh, we have to replace this one with input two string, right? So let's just replace the one with a two. And now it's gonna do the pretty much the same exact thing. It's gonna convert our second input, because it's already a string, into a integer, and it saves it into a new integer, or it saves it into a new variable name here. So now we have two inputs and uh, both inputs are converted into integers and each integer has its own variable that we can use later on. So now we got to display the results of the two on the screen. But first, we're going to be adding these two. So to create a third variable since we're adding. So we're going to type in int uh, sum because it's going to be the, the sum of the two. Hit space equals our first, our first variable, which is in input one because input one has our uh, value of our input with the integer value, not the string value, right? And we hit space and we're gonna type in plus because we wanna add the two, hit space. We're gonna type in our second variable, which is in put two and that we semicolon, right? So now we created a new variable, 
which is sum, and sum holds the results of input 1 plus input 2. So we're going to be using this later on. All right, guys, I already noticed a problem. As you can see, integer here is highlighted with red wavy lines. That means there's a problem. I noticed that I spelled integer wrong. It's I-N-T-E-G-E-R. So E here, it's between the T and the G, and the E between the T and the G here. And this is a capital I, by the way. So capital I, lowercase n-t-e-g-e-r. So, right, so we're going to print out the results on a screen. We're going to use the system.out.println. So type in capital S, Y, S, T, E, M, dot out, dot print, ln. Open and close parentheses, and then it with a semicolon, and we're going to type in sum because we want to print out the, the, the results of the two, right? So we're going to type in sum in between this open and close parentheses, and let's hit play. So now, now it's asking us to enter the first number, so let's type in five, okay? Now it's asking us to enter the second number, so let's type in six, okay? All right, so we got the results of 11, and it worked. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmarTech.com, and thanks for watching.